Want a chance at winning one of these three pin blister packs? The Entei, Suicune, and Raikou? All you gotta do is make sure to leave a like on the video, comment on the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel and you'll be automatically entered to this awesome, awesome giveaway. This giveaway is gonna drop once we hit 500 subscribers, so get in while you can. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Monkey Pow here. Today we're gonna be opening another Sun and Moon Booster Box, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows Booster Box. Um, but today we're gonna be doing it a little bit different than usual. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen like Darium's videos of, I believe it's called Profit or Loss, but I'm going to be calling our series Do or No. So basically, it's, it is pretty much the same thing. We're going to see if we can make any money or, you know, make a profit pretty much, or in our case, make some dough out of a booster box or if we'll just break even or worst case scenario, not make much or even lose money. But hopefully we do make some dough here. Um, I don't want to make this video too long because we're going to be doing some analysis as well of the prices and stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm going to put the half, one half on the side and we're going to open half first. Then we're going to, then we're going to crack on open the second half. But we're, I'll, I'll try to keep track of how much the cards are, are throughout the video. I'll figure out how to put the price on top or something. So we, we can figure that out. But um, I'm gonna try my best to edit this video as good as possible. And we're gonna be counting in the codes and all the commons and uncommons as well. So without further ado, let's go. Start off with the Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, Noivet, Alolan Grimer, Wobbuffet, Seedra, Plumeria, Reverse Hollow Rotom Dex, and a Hollow Rare Lucario. Uh, does it count as a hit? Yeah. No, we're not gonna count that as a You know what? It is a rare. It is a hollow rare. I'm gonna figure out how much hollow rares are worth. Um, but till then, I'm gonna try to put all the uncommons and commons on one pile, and all the codes in one pile. Just gonna try to be a little bit organized. Three. I don't think the energies are worth anything, but I'm gonna. We'll figure that out. All right. So first pack, no cards that are worth significantly anything. So we're gonna keep moving on. We got a Venipede. Horsey, Mudbray, Ladybug, Poop Poop, Porygon 2, Simiseer, Metapod, Reverse Hollow Rare, Lycan Rock, and a Scolipede for the Rare. So we hit two Hollow Rares already. Well, one Hollow Rare, one being a Reverse Hollow Rare. So it's not terrible, but we guys, oh guys, we want to see some dough. Let's hope, hopefully, we can get some goods from this one. Energy there. Let's go. Or even Guzmas are good. Even Acerolos are pretty good now. Anyways, Start up with an ink, eh? Club Brawler, Stuffle, Morlo, Sandagast, Sophocles, Sviper, Wick, Reverse Hollow, Sneasel, and a Weavile. Oh, that's pretty cool. Evolution packs are always neat to pull. Um, I'm gonna try to put all the trainers in one stack and all the commons and commons in another. Just so you can get a better idea or I can even look up if any of the trainers um, are worth anything. Card over there, three. Energy. Whoops, I threw the wrong one. If you guys can tell, that's a trainer over there. Hold on, let me go retrieve that really quick. And it's an Acerola. Energy is that one. All right. Anyways, I think Acerola is worth about 35 cents. The full art is worth a, a lot. And oh, and I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, I bought this booster box. I know some places like Darium or over the top TCG they sell it for like 90 bucks, 93 even. But I got mine, since I'm in Vancouver, Canada, it's a bit more pricey. I got mine for about a hundred bucks, US that is. I'm, I did the conversion and all that jazz. So we're gonna try to see if we can go over a hundred bucks in terms of value. All right, so we got an Inke, Lediba, Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Venipede, Acerola, I think that's 35 cents, so that's, that's not bad. That's not bad, we'll put it on the side. You know, I'll put it here. Wobbuffet, Charmeleon, Reverse Hollow, Magikarp, and for the rare we have... Yes! We have a Gardevoir GX. That is the best GX to pull. All right, so on the board, how much is Gardevoir? Especially after the World Championships, Gardevoir GX have seriously soared in value. 
it is 23 bucks right now. So the box being say 100 bucks, that's almost a, a quarter, one fourth of the value. So I mean, you, we want the Hyper Charizard, but if we, but let's say if we don't talk about the Hyper Charizard, you want Gardevoir GX. So there you go. That is some dough. We're doing pretty well, I think. All right, on to the next pack. Got an Inke, Stuffle, Crab Brawler, more little than the guest, Escape Rule, Soul Rock, Ribombi, Reverse Hollow Rare Weavile, and a Sloking for the Rare. All right, we're gonna try to put Gardevoir up front because it is the best pull we have so far. All right, so we're about, I don't know, looking at the codes, I don't know, I'm not good at math. I think we're about a third, third of the way into this opening. Doing all right, we're doing all right. Pretty happy with it. All right, we got a right horn. Riolu, cutie fly. Dynamo, Daps. I like to call this guy Dapsco. Lana, Sviper. Bloom, Reverse Hollow, Togedemaru. And it Hoxacroak, regular, rare. I don't know if Reverse Hollow rare and commons, and commons are worth anything. Uh, I'll be sure to look it up afterwards, but for now, we're just gonna keep them in a nice stack over there. All right, set up this pack with a right horn again. Ralts, Tangela, Dynamo, Crab Brawler, Wishful Batoon, A Cerola, Gloom, Ooh, Reverse Hollow Rare Kingdra, and a Malamar for the rare. I know Kingdra is a pretty good card. I know it's not competitive quite yet, but personally, oh my god, this is like the third right horn. Oh my gosh. But anyways, as I was saying, Kingdra personally is one of my favorite rares in this set. I, I see so much potential that hopefully, hopefully it can be a competitive deck one day because I would love to play it. Anyways, we have a right horn again, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Talamo again, Dab Skull, Weakness Policy. What am I doing? I'm mixing all the commons and trainers. All right, keep more tormenting spray. Reverse Hollow, Rare Crab, Bottom Bowl, and a Lydian for the rare. All right, I think we're about halfway. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're almost halfway. With this pack, we are halfway. Um, in terms of hits, we want at least seven. Seven is a good number. I mean, eight is a really good box, but hopefully we can get at least seven. But so far, we only have one GX, and we're almost a quarter of the way through the box. Hopefully, the hits start to pick up a little bit, but we're not going to complain with the Gardevoir. GX. Alright, anyways, first card is an Esper. Pikachu Noibat. Do Biter Tangela. Right on. Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Metapod. Reverse Hollow Simvaseer and a Tangrowth. For the rare. Alright. Come on, bud. This booster box has been a little slow. I gotta say. A tad bit slow. Alright, more low. Charmander. You know, we collect those. Borygon. Meryl. Hoot Hoot. Earlier, Rebombe, Old Town, Ooh, Reverse Hollow Rare, it's not a rare, just a Reverse Hollow Mount Lanakila and a Muddale for the rare. Alright, now we are officially past the halfway point, I believe. Come on, bud, give me the hits. Put the energy there, and let's go. Start off with an Esper Pikachu, Noibat, Dewbiter, Tangela, Simapore, Buffalet. Oh man, this guard is a beast if you're playing draft. The attacks, holy cow, I mean, competitively, it's you know, it's just an uncommon, but if you're playing Draft, this is like one of the best cards to get. Electric Reverse Hollow Pants here, and a Crabbonny Bubble for the rare. Alright, on to the next pack. I gotta say guys, it's been a bit, a bit slow in terms of pulls. Hopefully this can pick it up a little bit. Gotta suck. Oddish, Charmander, ooh, we collect those. Meryl, and Sage right on. Kiawe, that's that's pretty good, I think. That's a pretty good card. I'm gonna put that on the side. Olivia, Reverse Hollow, Safo Keys. Oh my god. We have a Charizard GX. So even though we're not pulling any full arts or hyper rares or rainbow rares or secret rares, we are pulling the GXs with higher value, which I'm totally cool with. Um, Charizard GX is currently sitting at about $6.29. $6.30 pretty much. But, hey, that's... That's pretty much worth two packs. So if we're gonna, if this booster box costed me a hundred bucks, we want to make fifty bucks out of this half, out of each half at least. 
So as of now, we're sitting at, if we're just looking at the, the hits that we have, we're not gonna look at the commons and uncommons and stuff. God of War give us, is giving us 23. Charizard is giving us $6.30. So that's giving us about $29.30. Um, we, we will, we will want to hit 50. Ideally, we have another decent ultra rare hit. Hopefully like a full art or something. Or a secret rare will be really dupe. But, oh my gosh, I'm dropping the cards. All right, here we go. Start off with a sock. Again, Mudbray, Oddish, Dabskull, Esper, Mount Lan, Akila. Oh, gotta put that on the trainer pile. Electabuzz, Knocked Owl, Reverse Hollow Rare, Dark Rare. That is a good Ooh. card. Woo! And we got a full art, Apu Bulu. That's uh, I actually don't know how much full art Tapu Bulu's are going for now. But Tapu Bulu is definitely a really, really playable deck competitively um, I'm gonna just search it up real quick so you guys know how much Tapu Bulu is worth I know the um, I know the the GX hold on hold on the camera's not even focusing man there you go now you guys can enjoy the art all right so the normal GX Tapu Bulu the promo is about eight dollars and um, the hyper is about 15 but the full art is sitting at 10 bucks that's not bad. I'm not gonna complain about that. Well, 950, but y'all know what I mean. All right, so we got a full art Bulu to add to the hits. That's pretty good. So we were at 29.30. Um, say that was 10 bucks. 39.30. We're getting there, folks. We are getting there. All right, on to the next pack. Three energy, then two. All right, here we go. Gotta suck. Oddish, Charmander, we collect those. Meryl and Sage, Charmeleon, we collect those too. Cedra, Luna Toad, Reverse Hollow, Ink, and a Heracross for the rare. And I hope they, you know what? I don't know if it's gonna happen. It's not super likely, but I really hope they will print a Heracross GX. Cause man, that would just be so cool. Energy over there. And know for sure, well, they haven't announced it, but I have a really, really strong feeling there will be a Lucario GX. Because Lucario is such a beloved Pokemon. Everyone's going to want a Lucario GX. But hey, Heracross is a mean dude, man. And if you guys know I love Heracross. So hopefully Heracross gets some love from Pokemon. He seriously deserves a GX. Hopefully he does. We're about to see. Anyways, and Blastoise and Venus or GX would be really cool too. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering. Let's see if we can make some dough. Start over the mud brain. Hello, the Ratata, Pam, Poor, Caterpie, Porygon, Hitmore, Simiseer, Reverse, not a reverse, just a Kiaw, and a reverse hollow is a Meryl. For the rare, we got a Darkrai GX. So we got four hits out of this half of the box. The first part of this box was a bit slow. Got a bit worried, just a little bit. But man, the hits are definitely coming. Uh, let me look up Dark Red GX really quick for y'all. Dark Red GX is sitting at about six bucks. That's pretty good. I mean, in terms of playability, it's definitely up there. So definitely happy with that pull, man. But man, the, the bench is looking real nice as of now. We have three packs left. Not sure if we can pull anything else out of this half. The other half will definitely give us some goods. I hope. It has to, come on. But, um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything else from these last few packs, but we'll find out. No Guzmas yet, which is kinda weird. Got a Pansier, Magic Carp, Alolan, Ratata, Wimpod. Man, if we pull a Glissapod, that would be dope. Togedemaru, Electric, Wabafet, Whirlipede, Reverse Hollow, Rare Malamar, and Electros for the rare. All right. Down to our last couple packs. Hopefully we can get like a Gizma or something. That would be nice. All right, start off with the mud, bruh. A little of Ratata, Pampor, Caterpie. You know, just getting some, uh, any charm million we collect those. Tormenting Spray, ooh, got a lot of trainers here. Lana, yeah, you got a Reverse Hollow Dab Skull, and a Reverse Hollow, I'm not a Reverse Hollow, Hollow Rare, Palo Sand. All right, now our last card. I don't know how, how much Hollow Rares are worth. I'm sure there are, some are different than others, but I'll do a little research at the end of the opening. But this is our last pack, folks. Set over the wind pod. Togedemaru, Krugan, Panzer, Magikarp, Lumeria, Sorak. Yes, we got your boy Guzma. 
Reverse Hollow Ray Gyarados as well, and a Turdinator Regular Rare. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're just looking at the GX hits, 45.3. Wow, so, so the GX hits were definitely sweet. In terms of value, we definitely, we definitely did well. We definitely did well there, everybody. Um, but we're gonna take a quick look at the price of Reverse Hollow Rares, because I have no idea how much people charge for them, how much they're worth. And just hollow rares and Guzma. I'm gonna put Guzma on the side because I know Guzma is about. It used to be two bucks, but it definitely dropped. Um, I'll you guys hang tight. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a cut, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna look up the prices of the cards and stuff and do a really quick summary. Be right back. All right, guys. So we're back. Crunched up the numbers a little bit. So. I looked online to see uh, what websites are buying um, rares and common and stuff, or like just like you know websites like Darium or over the top TC, just just you know places that buy bulk. And in general, they buy commons and uncommons, which are these guys over here, for about three cents. Um, it's not a lot, but you know they are commons and commons, so they aren't supposed to be worth a terrible amount. So it is expected. Uh, just reverse hollow non rare so reverse hollow and commons and commons are worth are at about um, five cents each and just regular rares they're they're at about seven cents each so a little bit higher than that and um, what else and reverse hollow rares and hollow rares are about 10 cents each so slightly better so let's go through oh and of course the codes that we got from these packs each of them are about 50 cents that's how much they go for and um, I took out these because they're worth like a little bit more than um, the Guzma and Acerola are worth a little bit more than the other in commons Guzma is at about a dollar and thirty cents I say Acerola is at 35 so I actually didn't calculate that um, 35 so that's 70 wait that's 70 yeah 70 cents plus well, that's two bucks right there Guzma used to be two bucks on his own but eh it is what it is I'm sure the price will go up once Lysandra is officially out of print, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, so there's two bucks right here that I forgot to account for, but I calculated everything. Um, so with the rares over here and the reverse hollow and commons and commons and all the uncommons and commons and all the codes over here and all the reverse hollow and hollow rares, all of these guys added up. We are sitting at about $22.41. So it's not a terrible amount, but it is bulk. So you can't really rely on that to make any money from your booster box. You gotta look at your hits. So luckily, we did pretty well in this half. The hits itself, Gardevoir is 23, Charizard is 6.3, Darkrai is $6, and Tabulu is $10. So all these four cards added up together is $40. Five dollars and thirty cents. So I gotta say we got we did really well in our very first do or no video. Um, so I'm just gonna crunch up the numbers one more time. It's sixty nine dollars and seventy cents or seventy one to be correct. Anyways, we were our goal was to hit at least fifty, and we definitely got do. So I'm really really happy about that. Hopefully you guys enjoy the series. Um, for now I'm gonna call it do or no. It's, but uh, it's just because I couldn't think of any other better ones and I'm ac I actually like it quite a bit but if you guys have any other suggestions of how this series should be called make sure to leave it in the description not description in the comments below and let me know if you guys have any cool ideas I was gonna do something that had to do with cha-ching but I don't know it's just tough to come up with that anyways so I stuck with do or no hopefully you guys enjoy this series I will be posting the second half of the booster box very very soon the polls are definitely good it would definitely do hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button it really does help out the channel and if you do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future that is all i have for y'all today till next time take care